welcome welcome to today's series so we are still on a structure and uh how we use engulfing candle so right here we have engulfing candle it's supposed to be what is sell scenario so you expect market to come into it your confirmation then you sell but in this case we have it that market broke that particular level so when market break that particular level there's liquidity of it Right, let's say for example, a small load right, like this, the market just need to trade mostly one. All right, one low, just a single low. So you have it that way, it is absolutely better. Now, market break this level instead of using to sell now becomes a support zone that can support price up. Do you expect market to what react from this area? For up movement as market get to it it's almost just like a breaker right just the only difference is that there are sometimes breaker phase so um when this is present in the market you just wait for market to get to that level from higher time frame you wait for confirmation you can also look for this the same pattern all right kind of like a, another uh engulfing right a buy candle engulfing the cell right here so if you have that on lower time frame mostly on lower time frame with a break of structure right so you have it just like this right here uh, this signify what a bullish uh, momentum so buyers are in the market now right? buyers are into the market so initially i run here we we'll have uh, uh, this kind of confirmation around here then we expect what a buy confirmation with market confirmation around yeah. Now, earlier on, do use one break of structure, but as time goes on, I will explain how we use two break of structure to confirm a re trend, all right, or a re change of trend on that lower time frame. How we can use it in this um, series, all right. So, this is a plain area now you can use to buy or continuation of buy, with. but just sometimes it won't come to this particular loop if you continuation, right? Because on lower time frame, we will likely be having this structural continuation. Where you'll be following liquidity and all. And on higher time frame, it will just be simple. So higher time frame is where you mark out this. And come to that lower time frame, you're actually following this little structure, right? So look for this entry for you to expect what function to the upside, right? So this is for what bullish scenario. So bearish scenario so right here we have a bearish scenario right here by at this particular level you would expect market to what use it for what a buy but because you are bearish overall trend you will now have this as a break of structure to the downside expect market to come to this particular level give you that confirmation for you now sell the downside right so this is like when a bearish engulfing right or let's see this is this bullish engulfing that's supposed to give us what bullish uh, movement but now since it's broken it become kind of like what resistance so where it will resist price downward so this is an example of what bearish engulfing um very uh, bullish engulfing that turn toward a resistance so let's go to the chart see example of this All right here after market has given us a confirmation it will be bullish by breaking structure based on this time frame to the upside broke this same time broke this high right here it broke these two highs after breaking these two high gave a little retracement continue the movement right here it continued up movement so since market now continued the up movement right here uh, what what does it tell us tell us that okay that means we are bullish so for us now to take this high, uh, first the market did is what it came back to this particular uh SC candle right here, or this first candle right here. Right? So after coming back to this first uh, candle right here, it gave a bullish expansion until it broke this major high, right? This is kind of like important high. So right here, uh right here, you can see. This particular candle, this bullish candle right here, this bearish candle, this bearish engulfed 
bullish candle. So making this area important area where price can come to for us to respect what you buy. So when you have this zone like this, so market now came that particular level, kind of like what breaker level, give us what expansion upside with what just a single low liquidity. We just a single low as liquidity right here. Right? So market just came to this area and give us what high expansion. And even this area, this low right here, this particular bullish candle above this bearish candle. So making this area good here, yeah, you can so use in line with this particular two candles. Okay? So that's what market use it right here. And you have another one candle. This bullish candle engulf this black candle right here. So giving you what good idea of what confirmation for you to expect what buy the upside. So market now offer this buy movement the upside. So this is clean example of a, um bearish engulfing into what support level. All right. So my market is solely bullish since we have gotten this break of structure. So market just came to what grab some liquidity, which is clearly this low, then trade into this imbalance right here. It's giving us what reason that it will likely what by the upside and like where price is currently. So that's another good it's another good example. We have a low high, low. So this bearish candle engulfed this bullish candle. Though we have two candles, two candles engulfing one bullish candle so which i said i will explain so since we are yet to explain this particular part so we'll leave it for now so this is a good example of that particular stuff i just explained so let's look for um a bearish scenario so here is uh one example we have this bearish candle right here bullish candle engulfed this bearish candle so making this what good bullish engulfing but market broke it after market broke it market came back to that particular level to give what a reason for sell which we likely see on lower time frame so that sometimes it can appear on this same time frame whereby that sometimes it will appear actually lower time frame so right here you can see that so market use it for what so right here so let's see another example So here we can see another example where market use it for what itself. All right. So we have this bearish candle and bullish candle. So this bullish candle engulfed this bearish candle. So market broke below it, which is breaking this low, and also broke this low right here. So after breaking these two low, these two lows, this and this, this area become a valid area where market can come into for another forward a bearish continuation to the downside so market came to that particular area and gave what bearish continuation so this is example of it turning as what resistance so right here it resists price to the downside so that is that on today's series so we'll continue from here tomorrow so see you guys good luck